guys, it's Kayla, and today I am going to be making a Lip Smacker unboxing video for you guys. I ordered quite a few Lip Smackers off of eBay the other day because they were listed at really, really great prices, and there were quite a few that I didn't have yet, so I'm always looking to add new Lip Smackers to my collection, especially if I don't have them yet. I actually got all of these for around 65 cents each, which is an absolutely amazing deal. I did already open up one one of the packages that I received because I didn't really think to make a YouTube video of me opening it until I was like halfway through so I thought hey I'm just gonna make a lip smacker unboxing video and that's what I'm doing right now since you guys seem to like these types of videos but anyways without further ado I am just going to get started and show you guys all of the lip smackers that I got and by the way I got around 50 so Super excited. Okay, so first I'm going to be showing you guys the ones that I got in this little plastic baggie. These are all like discontinued. You can't get these anymore. And they were from limited edition packs. And so I'm just gonna go through all of them. I think I'm just gonna dump them out to make it easier. So first, I got this one called Jelly Bean Buzz. And I'm not going to be reviewing these just because this video would be so, so, so long. But I got two of this one. The next one that I got from that same Easter collection is called Marshmallow Chick. And it's so adorable. I just have to smell this one. My voice just cracked. Oh yeah, this smells so good. It smells just like those little peeps that you get for Easter time. The little chick-shaped marshmallows with all the... Um, sugar on top that's exactly what this smells like it is so 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 good then I got two of the s'more treats and it has a little like um, it's a little puppy it's so cute by the way I think all of these Easter lip smackers were from 2013 I'm almost a hundred percent sure that's what year these were from next I got this one called perfect strawberry cream also, please excuse my nails. They're kind of getting old looking. I have to redo them, but um, yeah. Then I got Bubblegum Egg, and I have this one. I know it smells so good. Oh, I love it so much. Kind of smells like this bubblegum, like liquid Tylenol stuff I used to take when I was little though, but it still smells really, really good like bubblegum. Then I got two of the Vanilla Cake. See how it says Vanilla, cause they're sheep. So cute. All right, and then this one is the last one that I got from the whole like Easter set, and it is called Pink Bunny Cookie. And I love the little rabbit on there. That is just like absolutely adorable. All right, then I got some of the Girl Scout Cookie Lip Smackers, and I love these so much. They literally smell just like the actual cookies. It's so cool. Um, so I got two of, oh, there's like a hair. Ew. Probably my own, I'm hoping so. No, my hair is like way longer than that. Ew, that's really disgusting. Anyway, so I got two of the coconut caramel stripes and I love these so much. Oh my gosh, these are my favorite Girl Scout cookies ever. Oh, it smells just like coconut caramel and a little bit of chocolate. It's so, so, so good. Then I got one of the trefoils, trefoils, how do you say this? I hate when I can't pronounce things. Okay, well. I'm gonna ask my mom, wait. Hey mom, she doesn't even know. Her and I both could not figure out how to pronounce this, so if anyone knows how to uh, pronounce the name of this Girl Scout cookie, then um, definitely leave it in the comments down below. Sound it out for us, okay? All right, then I got chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> got thin mints. And then for the last Girl Scout cookie one that I got, this one is just called peanut butter has a little peanut butter cookie on there. Have to smell it because I love peanut butter even though I like can't eat it. Oh. All right, and then the rest of these are kind of just like really random ones from like, I don't know, I'm gonna guess and say like 2007, um, 2008, 2009, 2010, like really, really, these are really, really old. Um, so I got two of this one. It is called Sugar Plum Frost. And the packaging is so cool. I love it so much. So I got two of those. Then I got this one called Strawberry Slush. Again, it has really neat packaging and it's not really picking up how cool it is, but yeah. 
Then I got this one called Magical Melon. And I now have a double of this one because I just got this the other day. It smells pretty good too. It kind of smells like cucumbers. All right, and then lastly, I got this one called Sweet Strawberry Inspiration. It's a cool name. And this is a Christmas one because I do have this one as well. A lot of these I might like resell or trade to people, but then I'm also keeping some to use or just to add to my collection. So yeah. Okay, and then I got two Lip Smacker tins. This first one is just, it looks like a giant strawberry Lip Smacker. And I don't have one of these, so this is really neat. And I'll definitely be keeping it. Inside, there is the strawberry Lip Smacker. Strawberry Banana. Good old classics. Um, this one is bubblegum and I'm probably just going to use this one up because I already have one, but I really like it. So Yeah, I'm probably gonna use this one up for myself. Then I got the just good old vanilla and then lastly watermelon I also got another lip smacker tin This is with little Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck on there, which is so perfect because I'm going to Disney in like two weeks So yay! But I know that the seller also put some Little Mermaid lip smackers in here, so it's not just like Mickey, Minnie Mouse themed. It has um, like all these Ariel ones too, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys um, the Mickey Mouse characters first. So this one is Daisy and Minnie, and um, the flavor is Berry BFF. Like I said, I actually opened this entire package before I made this video because um, I just decided I wanted to film after I opened it. So I did smell this one. And oh my gosh, this smells just like the Blueberry Pancake Lip Smacker. It's so, so, so amazing. It just has that certain smell and it's so good. Next, I have Daisy in Cutie Pie. I have Minnie. In very Bowberry. Very, very Bowberry. This is Minnie in Cupcake. Next, I have Cotton Candy Crush, and it has Minnie on it again. And then lastly, I have Daisy in Grape Shimmy Shake. Oh my gosh, that is like the cutest name ever. I have to smell it. Oh, that smells just like the Grape Crush one. It's so good, guys. Like I said, um, she did include some like Little Mermaid ones. So I'm going to show you guys what the flavors are for these. So there is Cotton Candy Castle, and I actually did not have these. I love The Little Mermaid, though. Like, it's the best movie ever. Then this one is Vanilla Lights. I have another one called Vanilla Lights, but it's not a Little Mermaid one. It's just, like, it has, like, a really basic packaging. All right, then this one is Marshmallow Wish. The packaging is really cool for that one. I like it. Bubble gum, which I have to smell because I love bubble gum scented lip balms. It smells just like the other bubble gum one. That's where is that? Um, where'd it go? Oh, it's in the tin, but just it smells just like the classic bubble gum one. All right, and then lastly, this one is Strawberry Stars. Very pretty. All right, now I'm actually going to be opening a package. So this next package, I did not open yet. All right, save this one for you guys. I know what's in here. I am so excited because I have been wanting this lip smacker set for forever. And I will be reviewing these because there's only four in the set. So, oh yay, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, guys. Yes, it's the sweet and salty pack. Oh my gosh. And I got three of them for a very good price. It was like $20 for all three, so. That was a good price for me. Anyway, so, oh, they smell like, whoever was selling these, I'm pretty much 10,000% sure it was a guy because they smell like, like, I can't even describe it. They don't smell like cologne. They just smell like, like manly. Like, it's weird. They smell like a man's coat or something. That That's really creepy, but they do, and I'm not just saying that, so. Anyway, okay, this pack, like I said, it's a salty and sweet pack, or sweet and salty pack, sorry, and it comes with four different flavors, which I will be reviewing. There is, let's see, milk chocolate, 
salted caramel, vanilla frosting, and salted pretzel. So I got three of these and let's open this one because the packaging is kind of like all weird. <laughs> all right, we're gonna open this one. I'm so excited. Ah! I bet you I'm gonna like the salted caramel one the best. All right, I just ruined the packaging, but that is okay because I am not saving it. All right, first I'm going to be trying out the milk chocolate one. I might even put this on if I like it. I'm gonna do a swatch. Oh my gosh. This smells so good. It smells just like that like Ovaltine hot chocolate mix or chocolate milk mix. My brother used to drink that all the time when he was really little and that's exactly what it smells like. It's so, so, so good. I'm gonna put it on. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, if you have this one, put it on your lips and then like lick your lips. It literally tastes just like hot chocolate mix. Like it's so good and I'm gonna rate them too. I'm gonna rate this one an eight. It's a very, very good chocolate scented lip balm because sometimes when um, companies like lip balm companies make um, chocolate lip balms, they don't always end up smelling or tasting very good. So that one is really, really good. Next there is salted caramel. And the packaging for these, they're pretty basic. They're okay. If you guys are wondering why I always kind of swatch them on my hands, it's because it kind of gives you a better smell of the lip balm if they're used a little bit. Mmm. Yeah, I think this one's my favorite. It definitely beats the chocolate one. It smells just like the name. It smells like salted caramel, like legit caramel and like a salty kind of buttery smell. More like salt, if you could even smell salt but it's so good, oh my gosh. Kinda reminds me of those caramel creams, if you know what I'm talking about, yeah. It's so good. I'd rate it a nine out of 10. Next up, we have vanilla frosting. Mmm. Try to figure out what this smells like. It smells better than like just vanilla. Like I was expecting this to just smell like kind of plasticky vanilla. To me, it actually kind of smells like whipped cream, and um, yeah, it's like a different type of vanilla scent. It's a tad bit sweeter, and it doesn't smell plasticky at all, which is really nice. Um, I would rate this one a 7.5 out of 10. It's still like a weak scent, but it's not plasticky, like it's not fake, so I really like it. Okay, and then lastly, I will be reviewing Salted Pretzel, and I do have this one already, but it's one of my personal favorites. This basically just smells like salty pretzels, just like the name. Um, it's a tiny bit plasticky, just like like maybe 10% of plastic. But um, overall, this is just like a really nice salty pretzel scent, and I really, really like it. I would rate this one an 8 out of 10. All right, guys, so that is all for my Lip Smacker haul. I really hope that you all enjoyed watching, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and comment down below what your favorite Lip Smacker is. If you collect Lip Smackers, or even if you don't, just tell me which one is your favorite if you have any. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!